Get your players ready for a photo op with the new photo mode demo, now available for use with Unity 2020.3, LTS, and the Universal Render Pipeline. In this video, we'll give an overview of photo mode, its features, and show you how to add it to your projects. Photography modes have become an increasingly popular addition to games of all kinds, allowing players to creatively express, save, and share their favorite gameplay moments. As a result, we've created this photo mode demo to get you started with the basics of virtual photography in your own work. This demo is targeted for PC and console Unity projects and includes features like camera positioning, photo adjustments, overlays, custom UI, and much more. Let's review how it works. To add photo mode to your game, download the package from GitHub using the link below. Full installation steps and requirements are included with the demo. Start by opening your project and installing the required packages via the package manager. Then, ensure your scene has a Cinemachine brain and a virtual camera. Input the photo mode package into your project and drag its photo mode prefab into your scene. Assign the player or other object you want to focus on to the player object field within the prefab's photo mode script component. Next, add a blit renderer feature to your project's main renderer and set the blit material to use the blit material asset included with the imported package. Lastly, select the photo mode prefab in your scene, find the field called blit within the photo mode script component and populate it with the blit you just added to your renderer. With that, you're ready to jump into play mode and test it out. Photo mode is designed to integrate smoothly with your chosen platform's native screenshot functionality. So to save a photo creation, use the included hide UI option to remove UI objects from view and press your device's share or screenshot button. Cinemachine, Input System, Volumes, Shader Graph, the UI system, and Unity events are the core features used for this package. Each section of photo mode consists of a slider that calls an applicable method within the photo mode script whenever its value is changed during runtime. These methods mostly modify the values of photo mode's virtual camera or the volume components to create the intended effects. The shaders created for photo mode's filter collection were done using shader graph and implemented using the render pass feature of the universal render pipeline. This feature allows users to extend the render pipeline by implementing and customizing new render passes. Specifically, a blit is used here to apply each shader made with shader graph to a render texture for use as a full screen filter effect. The frame options are groups of UI images that are activated based on the frame type selected in the menu. Lastly, sticker mode uses the navigation values from the event system to create a movement axis, which is used to change the position of the sticker cursor. This cursor is a preview of the position, rotation, scale, and the image that will be applied once the sticker is stamped. Once the stamp action is triggered, the sticker controller script selects from a pool of existing sticker placeholder objects, applies the transform and image settings to it, and enables its visibility. To learn more about this demo, check out its GitHub page or blog post where we share more details about the development process. Links to these resources are listed in the video description. We hope this demo was helpful for those of you looking to add virtual photography to your projects. If you try it out or use it to make cool creations, let us know over on Unity's Discord, Twitter, or Facebook page under the hashtag MadeWithUnity. Until next time, thanks for watching.